Welcome, my name is Steve. I'm a developer with Axway, and this tutorial will walk through how to create and use an OAuth front end client authentication token for use with your API proxies in Amplify Central. This video will focus on setting up the Okta third party authorization server for use for your token generation. To start, you're going to go to Okta.com if this is the solution that you want to utilize. Uh, you can sign up for a new account or sign in if you already have one. I already have one, so we will start up here. Once you're signed in, you can go click on your name and go to your org. And you'll be able to see this general screen for applications. Uh, in order to use Amplify Central, we will want to get into the admin area. So I'll click into here. It's going to use my um, two-factor authorization. I will type in my authorization code using an app that I downloaded for free on my phone. And we're in the admin area. There are two sections that we are interested in here. We're interested in applications and applications to start things up and security. API to actually set up our authorization server. Let's do that first. So under the security menu, select API. In here we are going to add an authorization server. And so you can title it however you want. The audience for your Amplify Central AMP must be Amplify Central. Uh, only this will work with your Amplify Central OAuth configuration, and your description can be whatever it is that you want it to be. And I'll save that and actually get into it here. Uh, I have my issuer and my metadata URI. These will both be important once we actually get into Amplify Central. But there are a few things I need to do to this server to make it work. First, I need to go to the Scopes tab and add something new. Um, you can add whatever it is that you like as far as the name, but do make sure that it's set to a default scope and included in the public metadata. And we'll create that. We simply need a scope that is not one of the original options. Uh, secondly, we need to go to Access Policies and tell the server what it is that it's doing. Uh, the description be anything that is that you want. Make sure that it's set to all clients. You can specify individual clients if you want. Uh, we're not going to for this tutorial. So I will create that policy. Now I have this token generated policy with no rules. I will click down here and add a rule. And this just tells it what it's going to do. Uh, this is going to give me a token for OAuth. Um, do make sure that client credentials is set for the grant type. Uh, that's very important. And then you can set the timeline for your token. Uh, the access token lifetime for this is going to be a day. Um, and you can set these as your company sees the need. Uh, so we'll create that rule. So I have an access policy with a rule. And I have a custom scope. Uh, that's exactly what I want. Uh, then I will go under applications and I will create a new application. This is my unique identifier. Um, I'm going to create a new app because none of the ones that are in here are the ones that I want. And the type of app on the platform is going to be an OAuth service. Because this is where my token is going to be generated. Um, my application name is my unique. Yeah. You can title this however you want to make it easy for you to remember. Uh, and you will notice you have a client ID and a client secret. Uh, now, you also have an application in Amplify Central. We'll get to that in the next video. Uh, these two applications, the Okta application and the Amplify Central application, are going to line up on a one-to-one -one basis. So one is going to be directly linked to the other. Uh, and we will get into that in the next video.